Let's play a sound file in SwiftUI. I think you will enjoy this lecture because sounds can make apps to life and increase the overall user engagement at the same time. It's always fun playing sounds and music in iOS development, and the same is true for SwiftUI. If the navigator panels are hidden, then go to the view in the menu bar and click on the shop navigator menu under the navigators section. Navigate to desktop and open the resources folder. You will see a sounds folder in it. Open it too. There is an mp3 file called sound chime. Drag and drop it into the main Learn by Doing Projects root folder. A new option window will be shown. Check on the Copy Items if needed and the Add to Targets check marks. Click on the Finish button. With the Command plus N shortcut, we can create a new Swift file. Click on the next button and give this file the following name, Play Sounds. Finish the preparation by clicking the Create button. In order to play a sound in iOS development, we need to import a new Apple framework called Audio Video Foundation. In a new line import AV Foundation. As many times before, the next step is to place a command section for the audio player. Then let's create an audio player variable, which is an audio player type itself. After that, we will need a new function. Funk plays sound. It has got two parameters. The first parameter is the sound name, and the second one is the sound file format. Both of them are strings type. Next, inside this function, we create a new var and check if we can access the sound file in the root folder of the app. We will use the do try catch block of code for further error handling in Swift. If we can't access the sound file because it doesn't exist, or maybe we misspelled the name of it, then we print out a straightforward error message in the debug area. In case we can access the sound file without any problem, then we will try to create an audio player and ask it to use the path of the sound file in our app. This is why we use a path URL here as a parameter of the audio player. Our last task is quite easy. We will ask this player to play the given sound file. We have just finished working on this function. The beauty of this in this code that we can reuse it any times we want in our Swift UI application. Let's see how we can implement this function into the cards. Open the card view file and hide the navigators. Find the button action where we print out the button was stop message. Here we are going to call the play sound function with the following parameters. The sound's name is sound chime and the file type is mp3 file format. Before we start the live preview, we need to open the content view file. Click on the canvas run button in the preview window and click one of the buttons inside the cards. Do you hear the friendly chime sound? Let's launch the iPhone simulator or your real test device and play with it a bit. Undoubtedly, the sounds makes 
our Swift UI app more impressive. It increases the user experience even better, in my opinion.